Hi there folks, now short, sharp and sweet video this week. And it's basically inspired by a call that I've just had with one of my uh, members inside our trading room. I do these one-to-one -one sessions, help people along their way, give them sort of coaching as they go, like mentorship sessions and so forth. And this guy said to me, uh, he asked me for a scalping strategy. Uh, scalping, for those of you that don't know, is basically a strategy where you have multiple entries and multiple times a day. So you might be in and out of the market 10 times looking for those small little profits, you know, the scalp maybe. Um, and I said, I'll well, use his name, Charlie, for example. He wasn't Charlie, it was someone else. But I said, uh, so why, Charlie, why are you looking for a scalping strategy now? What's going on? Um, are you losing money uh, in his current uh, strategy that he was using, which is like a, a day trading strategy on the one hour and four hour time frame charts? Um, and he said, no, I'm not losing any money, but I'm not making any money. Um, because the opportunities aren't happening for him. I thought, well, opportunities aren't happening, but you're not losing any money, so why do you want to change what you're doing? And it sort of thought, well, it inspired me to make this video, quite frankly. Um, most of the traders out there, most of the guys and girls listening to me today that are trading the markets are most probably losing money. So this guy, Charlie, he's not losing money, but he wants to change what he's doing. He wants to change what he's doing because he's not making enough money. And this is basically one of the biggest problems, I think, uh, when it comes uh, to traders. The reason why most traders are failing, the reason why most people are just donating money to the markets, week in, week out, making the brokers uh, a fortune, is because they feel compelled to be in a trade all the time. Okay? They crave the excitement. I don't know about where you live in the world, but certainly if you live here in the UK, the, uh, all the sporting events that you see on a Saturday, Premier League or, or rugby or what have you, uh, they're all surrounded by all the betting firms uh, advertising you know, their latest betting app and what have you, basically encouraging gambling, you know, gambling on sports events. Um, and you think, well, why are they doing all that? Why are the, you know, these big companies spending all this money on uh, all this advertising? Well, the reason being is because gambling um, is addictive. It's also fun and addictive. Um, and a lot of people confuse gambling on sporting events with trading. People feel compelled to be in a trade all the time. You know, they want that excitement. And it doesn't, uh, it's not too surprising really. If you think about it, you know, you're sitting here in front of all these screens, um, you know, and in front of you lies a potential opportunity to make a lot of money. All you need is one of these and a couple of them. Click a few of those and you can make a ton of money. I mean, that beats working for a living, doesn't it? Beats going out, getting your hands dirty, getting up at all hours, very easy. Click that, a few clicks, you've made some money. So people are compelled to be doing this all the time. And that honestly, as I say, is the biggest downfall for many traders. Trading shouldn't be like that. If you've got the compulsion to always want to be in a trade, you are definitely doing something wrong. If I was younger and maybe less scrupulous, I'd love to have set up a brokerage firm many years ago, just taking $500 off everyone and enticing them to trade the markets. It's the broker's bread and butter, seeing people coming in, trying to scout the market with little or no knowledge whatsoever. If you are one of those, I strongly suggest you stop what you're doing now. You've got some time to spend in front of the screens. Use that time wisely. Leave the scalpers for those that really know what they're doing. There's very few out there that are continuously scalping the markets and carving out a living. Of course, there are scalpers out there. And then I'm going to get some comments on the YouTube later saying, I'm a scalper. What are you talking about? I know there are successful scalpers. I know there are indeed. I used to be one in the trading pits many years ago. I might be in the trade for just two or three seconds at a time. But the majority, the vast majority of the people watching this video haven't really got the skill and haven't really got the psychological makeup to be a scalper. So wind it up, spend your time with the screens, doing some back testing, getting a strategy, working out its edge. You should know the edge of your strategy. You should know this by all your back testing. You should know exactly what the win rate is, the loss rate, the 
expectancy, the profit factor, and so forth, all these metrics that I talk about. You should get to spend your time now working out our strategy on a higher time frame. Often, the less trades you take in a month will be more beneficial for you. But I know we're all bred as human beings, aren't we? We're bred to think you know, that the more work you do in this world, the more money you should be getting paid. Well, trading isn't like that. It's often the case that the less you do, the more money you should be getting paid. So I really want you to take that on board. Stop what you're doing if you're scalping there, donating the money, always looking over the fence to see what the other guy is doing, how much is he making, how much is that strategy working. Trading is nothing to do with that, it really isn't. Trading is about you, it's about you and your discipline and, uh, and keeping focused and grounded. And think about this for a moment. We all know that the most challenging part of being a day trader is you. The emotions, yeah? We can all look at a candlestick chart and see the same thing, yeah? We can all look at support and resistance. We can all look at bullish engulfers and bearish engulfers and see the same thing. So why isn't everyone making money? Because it's down to you. You are the biggest variable when it comes to trading. We all know that the biggest challenge when it comes to trading are the emotions. So it stands to reason that if you're trading multiple times a day, if you're trading in and out on a five minute chart, a one minute chart, what's gonna to happen to the emotions? Well, clearly the emotions are gonna be heightened, yeah? You're gonna have much more emotional turbulence on the lower time frame charts. And we all pretty much accept that the emotions are the biggest challenge. So that just stands to reason. Crank it up. Get up there onto the four hour time frame. Get up there onto the daily time frame. Take less trades. Don't worry, Charlie, if you're not making any money. Money will come to you, will come to those that are patient. Don't try and change what you're doing because the opportunities may not be there. Patience is key. Now, I know for one, Charlie and myself, you know, we're trend followers. Uh, we're trend followers um, on the higher time frame charts. Now, at the time of recording, at the moment, we have um, some uh, potential conflicts going out, as you may have seen uh, in Russia and uh, the Ukraine and so forth. And the markets are pretty much ranging at the moment. We're moving into risk on, to risk off. Markets are really struggling to find a clear pattern, a clear direction, which is why people like us, the longer term trend followers, are not making very much money at the moment. I'm not losing any money. I'm just not trading. What I'm not doing is going down and changing everything I do because I haven't got that excitement there anymore. So be patient. This is a very short lesson today, but I think it's a lesson that should hold you in good stead if you want to give yourself a chance at actually making it in this business. Okay, so I hope you found this short little lecture uh, useful. Um, if you're tempted to uh, move down to the lower time frames and start scalping because there's not many opportunities on the higher time frame charts, maybe will hold you in good stead, maybe save you a few bucks. Let me know in the comments exactly where you are with this one. Am I talking a load of old nonsense has been known. Don't forget to follow us here on the channel. Um, and if you hit that bell notification, of course, you'll be notified the moment I release the next video. And of course, you can follow us on all the socials as well. Now, we do stream live uh, around the clock. I've just got off a stream um, as well um, before um, I spoke to Charlie. Um, if you want to take part in that, you can do so. Head over to forexsignals.com. You can take out a seven day free trial um, and you can see what it's all about. And if you do that, let me know that you've come from the channel um, and then I can have a personal chat with you. Maybe we can jump on a one on one as well, set out a little trading plan for you. So let me know you've come from the YouTube channel. I'll roll out the red carpet. If that's not your thing, that's not a problem. I'll see you next week and have a good week.